Hello everyone, it's Jen from Old Tinker Studio. Welcome to the 10th tutorial of the UI and Game Art for Beginners series. In this tutorial, we will be learning how to make isometric game tiles in Adobe Illustrator. So let's go ahead and create a new document. Make it a thousand by a thousand pixels and you only need one artboard. Use your rectangle tool, which you can get to by hitting M, and draw out a rectangle that covers the artboard. Remove the border, and we're going to change the fill to a light cream color. I'm using the hex code of FFFEEB. Open up your layers panel and rename layer 1 background and lock it make a new layer above your background layer and name it grid use your rectangular grid tool which you can get to under your line segment tool click on your artboard once and set the width and the height to 1500 pixels each and change your horizontal and vertical dividers to 50 then align your grid to the center of your artboard now we need to scale the grid to so good object transform scale. Make sure that you have non-uniform checked and we need to change the vertical to 86.602 percent. Then we need to shear the grid. Let's go to object, transform, shear. I want the shear angle to be 30 degrees and then we need to rotate the grid good object transform rotate and we want our rotate angle to be negative 30 degrees now we'll change the grid into guides let's go to view guides make guides and then just double check and go to view guides and make sure that if this says lock guides, click it so we can make sure that we have the guides locked. Open up your layers panel and I'm just going to lock the grid layer just so I don't accidentally move it. Make a new layer above your grid layer and name it grass tile. Choose your rectangle tool which you can get to by hitting your letter M and click on the artboard once and let's make a rectangle that is 210 pixels in width and 210 pixels in height and we're going to fill this rectangle with a green color I'm using the hex code of 7E9B2D Use your selection tool, which you can get to with V, and rotate the square 45 degrees. Then go ahead and align the green square with the horizontal center of the grid. And I am going to change this to 150% so I can see what I'm doing a bit more easily. So what we need to do is align the green square with the grid. So I'm just going to move it up a little bit here. Get this aligned and then I can start aligning each of these other sides. Now 
Now choose your rectangle tool, which you can get to by hitting the letter M. And click on the artboard once. Make a rectangle that is 210 pixels wide and 55 pixels high. And we're going to change the color to a darker green. I'm using the hex code of 687A25. Then use your direct selection tool, which again you can get to by hitting the A key. And you want to align this darker green rectangle to the left side of the original rectangle. Choose your selection tool, which is V, and click on the artboard. Make sure everything is deselected. Select the dark green rectangle. Make a copy of it with Control C. Paste it in front, Control F, and change the color to a lighter green. I'm using the hex code 798E2B. Then we need to reflect this rectangle along the vertical axis 90 degrees. So go to Object, Transform, Reflect. Make sure you have vertical checked. The angle is 90. Hit OK. And using your selection tool, go ahead and align it to the right side of the original square. And if you need to make any adjustments, just use your direct selection tool, which is A on the keyboard. Now make sure that you have your selection tool, which is V. Select the dark green rectangle. Make a copy, Control C, paste it in front, Control F, and change the color to a darker brown. I'm using the hex code of 8C692C and align this rectangle with the bottom of the dark green rectangle. Make a copy of this brown rectangle with Control C, paste it in front, Control F, and change the fill to a lighter brown color. I'm using the hex code. AF8735. And we need to reflect this rectangle along the vertical axis. So go to Object, Transform, Reflect. Make sure you have vertical checked. The angle is 90. Hit OK. And then align it to the bottom of the lighter green rectangle. Open up the Layers panel, make a new layer above the Grass Tile, and name it Water Tile. Now go ahead and select the entire Grass Tile that we just made. Copy it with Control c Select your Water Tile in the Layers panel, and hit Control v to paste it on that actual layer. Go ahead and lock your grass layer and move this tile down so we can work on it. And just align it to the grid. Make sure that you have your selection tool still selected and go ahead and click anywhere on the empty artboard to deselect everything. Then use your selection tool, which again you can hit get to with your V key. Select the very top square 
and change the color to blue. I'm using the hex code of 4FDBDB. Then select the dark green rectangle. And we could change this color to a dark blue using the hex code of 40ADAA. Then select the light green rectangle and change its color to a light blue I'm using the hex code of 4FC6C0. Then select the dark brown rectangle. And we're going to change it to a lighter dark brown I'm using the hex code of 997631. And select the light brown rectangle and change it to a different lighter brown color using the hex code of C19340. And if we hide our grid layer and hit control zero, we can see our isometric tiles. And you can use these to make all sorts of different tiles. You just have to add different elements and change the colors up. So I hope you found this useful. Have a good day.